world has turned to jello. The walls are shaking, the floor is shifting, and your dishes are trying to make a break for it. You know that there's something you're supposed to do, you just can't remember what it is. And then it hits you. Are you supposed to get under a door frame or something? The idea of standing underneath the door frame has been around for years. Sure, it's not that far away, and it does look pretty sturdy, but is that really where you want to be when the whole world's shaking? To help me find out, I've recruited some Red Cross volunteers to build my very own earthquake machine. across the room during some serious shaking. But since the floor isn't the only enemy you have during an earthquake, we've asked volunteers to help us make this a little bit more interesting. Took a couple of balloons to the to the cranium. That was a face shot. Yeah. I feel like maybe it's not the best place to go in a door in a door frame. It seems a little unsteady. We'll take a look at me. I only made it across the course one time. In the event of a real earthquake, it's not gonna be water balloons or inflatable furniture. It's gonna be real things hitting you, like ceiling fans, your book collection, who knows? So I asked the Red Crossers what they think we should really do in an earthquake, and they said, Drop, drop cover, and hold on. on. Let's give that a shot. I'm gonna roll. All right, guys, I think I'm ready. I think it's working, okay? A little bit shaky. They're right, that was much better. I'm Hillary Anderson, and this is Prepare TV. I have blue milk.